Hello and welcome to Basic Medical Sciences. If this is your first time here, please make sure you subscribe so that you won't miss any of our latest videos. Today we are going to talk about picona viruses. All right. In the picona viride family, there are about six genera which are medically important. And they are enteroviruses, rhinoviruses, Hepatoviruses, that's hepatitis A, parechoviruses, cardioviruses, and aftoviruses. But the last three, we are not going to talk much about them in this video. Now, some general characteristics of the picona viruses. Picona viruses are naked, their symmetry is icosahedral. And they are positive sense RNA viruses. Uh, and here we are representing them with the sun. And lastly, uh, they replicate in the cytoplasm of the host cell. Now, about the antigenic structure, they have two kinds, right? Uh, number one, they have an internal antigen, which is species-specific and is actually ribonucleic protein. And number two, they have a surface antigen, which is a group specific and is actually a glycoprotein. Now, uh, as I said before, in this video, we're going to look at only three, uh, three genera, right? So here we are starting with the enteroviruses. So uh, enteroviruses, we're talking about poliovirus, Coxsackie viruses, uh, that's Coxsackie A and Coxsackie B viruses, and then Ecovirus. Right, these enteroviruses, they are called enteroviruses because they infect the intestinal epithelial cells, also known as the enterocytes, and the lymphoid cells, specifically uh, the tonsils and pear species. Right, uh, they are excreted in the feces, so they spread by fecal oral root. The replication in the tonsils also result in viral shedding from the pharyngeal secretions. So, above that, uh, these viruses, they are acid stable. What it means is they are not affected by the gastric juices. These enteroviruses, they are the most common cause of aseptic meningitis, especially in children. Now, let's talk about the rhinoviruses. The rhinoviruses, they, uh, the transmission is via respiratory droplets, uh, and they are the number one cause of common cold in humans. Now, let's talk about the hepatitis A virus. Right, in hepatitis virus, in, in this course, you are going to learn about uh, from hepatitis A to hepatitis E. But you have to remember that Hepatitis A virus is actually a picona virus. So, um, hepatitis A is tran transmitted through fecal oral route and it causes acute hepatitis. And acute, it means the infection will be less than six months. Thanks for watching.